Monsecor is different from other health systems in Richmond because we are a not-for-profit faith-based uh, community hospital and community system. So we provide care to anyone that walks through our door, whether they can pay or not. We also provide the highest level of care, um, and so I think that combination really makes us a special place. We have a pediatric specialty group that is based at St. Mary's that includes pediatric gastroenterology, pediatric endocrinology, pediatric neurology, pediatric pulmonary or lung care. Uh, we also have the region's only home-based palliative care group in NOAA's children. We're incredibly proud of our relationship with NOAA's and all the work that they do in the region. We have Richmond Hope Therapy, uh, which is another gem of a program that we support. Richmond Hope provides one of the truly unique physical therapy uh, rehab models in the United States. Um, and we have patients really seeking us out for Richmond Hope across the region. Philanthropy has helped us tremendously. Just last year, as a result of the gala funds that we received, we were able to purchase some much needed equipment. It's really critical that we have access to these funds so we can provide the highest level of care with the latest technology um, to our patients. Sydney has ulcerative colitis. Uh, she was diagnosed in January of 2019. We had just gotten back from vacation and we had gone on a little short stint um, before the Christmas holiday. I think we actually arrived back in Richmond on Christmas Eve. And shortly after that is when our roller coaster really started she wasn't turning any corners. In fact, I felt like she was getting worse. Uh, so I contacted our pediatrician and she asked immediately to see her. And so we went to, to see her and she told me we needed to pack our bags and kind of head right over to the hospital that she could tell she was severely anemic and the situation was much worse um, you know, than, than we had originally thought. So we came here for that and we ended up staying here for over a month, you know, off and on staying in the hospital and then in the infusion center extending beyond that through March. Um, so I would say there wasn't, um, there wasn't a time frame of a week that we didn't visit Bon Secours probably through the end of March. So as a parent, when Sydney got diagnosed, it was um, very emotional, very scary was not familiar with the, the disease at that time, so I had a lot of questions. Um, my wife wasn't familiar with it either, so we um, did a lot of research, um, but it was very fast moving and very uh, very aggressive, so we didn't have a whole lot of time to do things. So it was, um, it was just sort of a, a leap of faith, I guess, is what we did. When I was in the hospital, I couldn't eat for two months, so they inserted a pick line into my right arm that basically fed up through my arm down to like past my heart and it would feed me, it would give me medicine. It was basically my IV but like permanent. I lost like 20 pounds and was very skinny and couldn't really walk and very anemic. I had 17 blood transfusions and many many iron transfusions. Because the situation was so, it was rapidly um, aggressive we were trying to do stuff quickly. It was just hard to think through some things. I mean, all the doctors here were involved with Sydney. Everybody knew what was going on. I just feel like everybody was trying their hardest to make us feel as comfortable as possible. But the one thing that really stands out to me are the nurses and just the, the whole staff. Um, they became like an extended part of our family while they were here. Sydney um, still comes back and tries to visit them, and it's been a year now. You know, listening to uh, the Meadows talk about their care experience here with us. Um, they use the term family a lot. Um, and that, that really actually, that was really touching because I wasn't expecting them to be so, sorry. Yeah. It, it means a lot. You never know where your giving might go. No one plans to need the specialized care we offer, but your kindness will shine in a way you never imagined for these families in their toughest moments. Giving provides advanced education for nurses like the ones on Sydney's treatment team who became her extended family. 
Your thoughtfulness helps expand services so that Madeline is able to take her first steps, a milestone that will lead to other milestones. Donations provide support to Jimmy's family in so many ways. Their journey is sometimes grueling, but your support is felt along the way. Generous community donations bring specialized equipment that helps our tiniest patients like baby Samuel get home to his parents and big brother faster. These are just a few of the ways your giving makes good happen. It's impacting the future of our entire community through the care of our pediatric patients. On behalf of the families, our caregivers, and the entire foundation, we thank you.